Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. A couple of weeks ago, I shared with you my completed patio table in a collaboration that I hosted. I will link that collaboration if you have not seen it in the iCard above, but I'm gonna share with you how I upcycled this patio table. So first thing you, I'm doing here is I am just brushing away a lot of the rust that has accumulated on the legs and on the side of the table. This brush I purchased from the Dollar Tree, it was $1 and it was excellent to use on this table. Now, around the edges here, I'm just gonna make sure I get any loose paint that was around there. At one time I had attempted to paint the table and I didn't like the way that it came out. So I'm gonna scrape that off. I'm using this Rust-Oleum um, two times ultra coverage paint in the color is a yellow and it's more of like a, a sunflower yellow and after I have wiped off the table I am going to begin spraying the um, outer perimeter the metal part of this table now this table was I've had for about seven or eight years and this is just a lot of the wear and tear from the weather and me not covering up and during the winters but that is okay because it is going to be beautiful after I complete this project now I spray painted my first coat on here around the edges and I'm gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna begin to spray paint the glass now I chose to spray paint the top glass but if you wanted to you could turn it upside down and spray paint underneath also i didn't think it would be necessary because my plan is to keep this but i am going to cover it so i won't have to worry about um it um um like deteriorating over the next couple of um seasons now once you press spray paint this between coats, you're gonna have to let it dry. And this took me two coats um, until I got it to the thickness and the consistency of the table that I wanted. I wanted to make sure that I did not see any um, glass areas like you can see through there, some where the spray paint wasn't adhering. I wanted to make sure that was completely covered. And I wanted to make sure that it looked smooth. So now I let my table dry overnight before I begin the last um, piece of this project. And so this is a beautification part, part, I think. I purchased this stencil from Michaels. I used a 40% off coupon, so I paid $3 for it. And I'm gonna, um, I love the design of the stencil. I'm just gonna go over the stencil with some white glossy spray paint and making sure that I got close enough because I wanted the spray paint to um, go through the stencil but not too close that it would go underneath and kind of um, like uh, dissipate underneath. I wanted everything to look very clean, neat and cohesive. Now when I did this outside, I did not, it was uh, wait long enough because it started to rain. So I had to go over it with another coat because the, main, the rain began to mess up my stencil. So after I went over it again, it turned out like this. Not bad, huh? This was such an easy project, guys. And here is the finished project. Um, all decked and styled for my collaboration. It is absolutely beautiful. I chose the color yellow because I thought that it would make the area pop. And you guys know how I how much I love yellow for the spring and summer months. So guys, if you have an old table that you think you're gonna throw away, don't do that. Upcycle it. I bet you can do it. You'll be amazed with a couple of paint, a couple of cans of paint and a stencil can do. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. Also, make sure that you stay tuned and come and join me on Fridays at 
8.30 as I do my weekly weekend wind downs over here at Wani's house. I would love for you to join us. We have a lot of fun. So guys, you know what I always say, the next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.